Ah, oh, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Man, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aider, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. Can't play games with the butcher. <coughs> we all know what he's capable of. Got you Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. By doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. P.K. and the Bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the Bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the Bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. 
He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Yeah. 
How's New Paris holding up? Do you believe I have a cousin there. No. But what if? Then he was monumentally unlucky. As are we. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. Holy shit! Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring your round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. 
and we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So... To set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? A wolf. You better watch out. I'm relieved then. A true wolf doesn't have to announce he's a wolf. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well but mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. 
Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard a pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, oh, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar of Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. Faces today? Very long ago, he's developed this compound with mushrooms and the leaves of some weed. They say it fucks you up like a leaf. Hey, you. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. 
I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you won't regret it. Later. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. That's Sophie, though. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Are you interested or not?
I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Born and bred, if you must know. Then why haven't I ever seen you before? Couldn't say. We're tightly packed, but it's still a big city. I heard there's a new pilgrim in town. Not you by any chance. Uh, pilgrims are nomads. They don't have biomarkers, and I have one. Look. That's another thing. Heard a fellow almost got lynched of the bazaar. Didn't have a marker. Some say he was recently infected. Ring a bell? I saw that guy. He was taken outside by Hakon. And killed. Maybe he was. Or maybe he will be. Cause he's sitting here, lying to my face. Why won't you simply be honest, huh? Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job, then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well-known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Let's haul him in, boys. We got your ass now! You're a dead man! Gotcha, you piece of sh- Keep out! Take some of this!
okay? You... You... How, how did you die? God, you asshole. You set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job. Scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't! How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop! I'm sorry! I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me! They have my brother. That's no reason. You're complicit. Carl's gonna hear about this. You idiot. You don't understand. If you do this, they'll kill my brother. I can't let that happen! I feel your pain, but this is wrong. You can't gamble innocent lives away just to get him back. You're through, Damien. Ah! <sighs> Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. A certain transaction, hmm. Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers. And that's who you are. So far, at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first, and we'll see where we go from there. Those crystals... what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of a city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. 
A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before Zero Hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, is kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. Well, you said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. From the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Prices cannot be beat. 